welcome to the semi-finals of Only Connect, the show that asks more awkward questions than an eight-year-old browsing the internet. Two great teams have made their way here tonight, but which side is the Tim Henman that'll crash out in the semi-finals, and which the Andy Murray that'll power through and crash out in the final? Let's see who's in contention. On my right, Barry Humphrey, a psychology graduate and IT consultant who plays the trumpet and the piano and used to be in a school band with Lisa Stansfield. Michael McPartland, a civil servant with an interest in Greek mythology who enjoys watching the Tour de France and professional wrestling. And their captain, Jamie Turner, a media science graduate who works for Wakefield City Council and once sat on Roy Walker's knee in a crowded taxi. Though they support opposing sides, they are united in their love of the game. They are the footballers. Jamie, you've beaten the second violinists and the cinephiles so far. Yep. What's your strategy for the semi-final? I'm just going to have to try and answer as many questions as we can uh, and hope for the best. Are there any questions you're hoping won't come up? Any areas you fear? Um, personally, probably literature questions, but uh, I think hopefully my teammates will have that covered. Well, let's hope there'll be no books in tonight's show. That's almost impossible, but you never know. You are facing, on my left, Andy Tucker, a political analyst and former diplomat who is a member of the Royal Commonwealth Society, the Chartered Institute of Linguists, the Winchester Russian Circle and the Brittany Integration Association. Steve Dodding, a keen skier and cyclist who works as a dental surgeon and once played table tennis with Sir Patrick Moore. And their captain, Ewan Thomas, a freelance science editor and chartered chemist with a passion for rugby and cricket who once won a beautiful baby contest. They're never too far away from a pint of bitter. They are the draftsmen. You and you beat the joinees and the numerists. You had a nail-biting tiebreaker in your first heat. Do you have any techniques ready for the semi-final? Uh, no, just as they said, we'll answer as many questions as we can and hope to do well. Well, nobody will do well unless we start playing the quiz. On with round one. I simply want to know what is the connection between four apparently random clues and, of course, this being the semi-final, it's going to be even harder than you've experienced so far, I'm delighted to say. Footballers, you won the toss. You're going to be going first. Which hieroglyph would you like? Just a fox, please. OK. It's the music question immediately. The crossed fingers have not paid off. <laughs> what is the connection? Here's the first clue. Madness, I want next. I want to tell you a story from way back. Truck on down and dig me jack. You know it? No, I don't next again, then, please. We've come a long way. Home. Uh, but we're not too but, sure um, where we take been. that. Yeah. Never forget where you coming from. Never forget, I have. You have to next door. Yeah, yeah. Next, please. Little yeah, Rocky Queen. Oh, uh, what the first one again? Oh, I've got, I'm going to have to go. Five seconds. Are they all bands who've had uh, musicals? The, the, their songs are in musicals. And Jukebox musicals. Jukebox musicals, yeah. Jukebox musicals is exactly the term. I'll give it to you. The songs we heard were actually the title tracks from jukebox right. musicals. Musicals oh, course, yeah. which the plot's been written to fit the songs. That's what a jukebox musical is. What did we hear? Uh, we Our will, House by Madness. Our House by Madness. Uh, we Will Rock You, Queen. Yeah. Uh, take That. I'm not going to admit to knowing the title. Never Forget was their musical. And then one we didn't know. Five Guys Named Mo. Ah, right. Yes. Jukebox musicals. Musicals created by inventing a plot to fit around songs. Well done. OK, draftsman, your turn. I have Horus, please. Ah, picture question. We're getting those novelty ones out of the way early. What's the connection between these? Here's the first. Next, please. Oh, that's that's Patty Hurst. Silly people kidnapping, kidnapping. Symbionese liberation. Next. First, Nixon. Patty. Patty was his daughter, wasn't it? Yes. So we get a Patty? Yeah, go on. Patty. Not the answer, I'm afraid. So I'm going to show the last clue to the footballers for a possible bonus. Still, yes, it is, isn't it? They do it every... Oh, thank you. Thanks, Gibby. They've all had presidential pardons. That's right. They've been pardoned by presidents. I think you were muttering there, a turkey is pardoned every Thanksgiving. This yes. one, Pumpkin the Turkey, pardoned by George Bush. Richard Nixon there, pardoned by Gerald Ford. Do you know the other two? Patty Hearst is one of them. That's why you said Patty. What's the story of Patty Hearst? Uh, she was an heiress who got kidnapped and got made into a terrorist, I think. 
She took part in a bank robbery and was later pardoned. They said she was suffering a sort of Stockholm syndrome, having fallen in with the group and hadn't really meant to commit a crime. First person, you recognise him? No. 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 That's Brigham Young from the Mormon Church. Right. He was pardoned for his role in the Utah War. All received presidential pardons. Well done for the bonus point. And your turn to pick a question. Water, please. Water. What's the connection here? Time starts now. What else there? No idea. Next. Ooh. It's a David Lodge novel, I think. But, but that's... Next, isn't it, really? Yeah. Next, then, please. How was that for you? <laughs> no, next. No. Next. Ah. Little sequels or... No, um, the old band. Ten seconds. Could be. Oh, that, do they all take... Take out a single day? Oh, that's what I was going for. Yeah. Three seconds. Go on, I'll let you body answer. Um, we think they all happen over the course of a single day. They are novels in which the action takes place over a single day. Very well done. Ulysses should be the giveaway clue. And you recognise the David Lodge novel, the second clue. Mm. Don't know the other two? No idea. A Single Man is Christopher Isherwood. I, that's the one that got made into a rather brilliant film, I think, with uh, Colin Firth yeah. in it. And The Poor House Fair, do you know who wrote that? No. no. John Updike. Ah. All novels in which <clears throat> the action takes place in a day. Well done. Over to you, draftsman, to choose a hieroglyph. A uh, lion, please. Lion. What is the connection here? Time starts now. Tail, so it's been two, two parts. Yeah, it's parallel to the body rather than yeah. 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 Next. Things of a dog. Also divided into two. Mm -hmm. I think no, divided have into two. Try one more. Try one more. Please, next. Are they individual to all? Oh, it's like a fingerprint yes, yes, sort yes, of thing, yes, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 highly yeah. individual. I think they're individual markers that are to a, to a particular individual of a species. Absolutely right. I think you muttered about fingerprints there. That would have been the last clue, the fingerprints or fingertips of a human. They're used to tell specimens apart because for those creatures they would have individual flukes, noses, stripes and fingertips. Well done. Back to you, footballers. Uh, two reads, please. OK. What's the connection? Here's the first clue. Hang on, hang on. 75. Is it last book I've written? I'm going to have to go next one. Uh, next, please. Oh, <laughs> clearly not. Do a friends, man? Who would have that, yeah. That's not a Next. Yeah. What? Next. Ten seconds. Next. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. I think they were declared dead on that day. They were formally declared dead. They had obituaries published. That's right, Hercule Poirot, that was published in the New York Times. Tour de France, it was after a, a drug scandal. Right. Captain Birdseye, that was a way of killing off the character. <laughs> and English cricket was declared dead by obituary in 1882. What did they say would happen to the body? Should know that one, don't know. Oh, come on. What did it they say would, would happen to the body? It would be cremated, cremated and, and taken to Australia. It would be cremated mm. and the ashes oh, okay. would be taken to Australia. Ashes, and they've been back and forth from Australia ever since. No, they haven't. They've <laughs> never left this country. <laughs> Have they never left this country? Not the real ones, no. Mm. The always Australians always are very annoyed about lords, that. Yeah. Goodness me, we could talk about this longer if I had the slightest interest <laughs> in cricket. But goodness me, never left this country. But I'm sure there's something to do with the ashes and they're supposed to win things and somebody gets them and let's move on. Horned Viper is the only remaining question, so that'll be for you draftsmen. Let's see if you can get the points on this. Time starts now. Next, please. Mm. Is that Bora Bora? Bora Bora? It might well be. Let's go for that. Should we go for it? We need yeah. the points. Yeah. We think they're double words. Pago, Pago and Bora Bora. You need the points. You've got the points. 
That's right. You did not need to see Dame Edna's birthplace, Wagga Wagga, I think you pronounce it. That's the birthplace and the Black Forest Spa Town. Bum, bum, bum. Yes, it is. I've gambled there happily, if losingly, many times. This means the scores at the end of round one see the footballers with four points, but the draftsmen just ahead with five. Hotly contested. On we go to round two. The sequence is round. Teams, I simply want to know what's the fourth in a sequence. And I say simply, it's actually more complicated because you have to work out the connection in order to tell me. Footballers, you'll be going first again. Which hieroglyph is it to be? Twisted flax, please. Twisted flax again. What would the fourth clue be in this sequence? Here's the first. <laughs> Um, okay. we need no, something no. more. Next. No. Nothing. No, I said low down. Next again. Ah. Uh, well, are the newspaper headlines to do. What else could it mean? I, I have idea. no idea. Ten seconds. Um, so which way? Back together. Go on, hold on. No. Go on, go. Three seconds. <laughs> the Ashley and Cheryl split up. <laughs> <laughs> very, very reasonable guess, but yes. not the answer. So there's a bonus chance for you, draftsman. No, I think we're clueless. Oh, well, well, I don't think you'll be able to guess it. They are headlines. They are headlines in the news of the world relating to Cheryl and Ashley Cole. The middle one is actually about Ryan Giggs and his wife. And they're moving towards the final headline of the News of the World, which was, does anybody know? Thank you and goodbye. You know now because it's just come up. <laughs> <laughs> the final headline was thank you and goodbye, and those are the three which preceded it. So no points there. Draftsman, your turn to choose. Horned Viper, please. Horned Viper. These are going to be picture clues. What would you expect to see in the final picture? Here's the first. Stunners and Styles. Yeah, well, just four. Yeah, four. Carry on. Okay. Four. Next. Wilson. Wilson. Yeah, yeah, Wilson. 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 And, uh, Leonard Cohen himself did not actually play in that no, cup winning Ray, team. Ray, Ray Cohen I think he was injured. Yeah. George Hallelujah Cohen, Hallelujah I believe, uh, yeah. took the number two Ray shirt. Yeah. And the goalkeeper, Gordon Banks. Banks. So Banks is the last one. Very well done. Three points again for coming in after two clues. Mm. Back to you then, footballers gnashing your teeth that a football yeah. question has been missed. <laughs> what um, would you like? Water, please. Water. OK, what's the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Yeah, Next, please. Uh, yeah. They, have, have, have they been on... Are they on coins? No, they're not on coins, are they? I'm going to have to go. Yeah, well, to next, then. Yeah, they're on coins. Pictures of... Well, the very baby's bits of frickin' head already, isn't it? I think it's going to be. Ten seconds. They're not on them. No, that's all right. Like no, I don't think they're not. They're coins, if anything. That's 50 feet, so what, in pounds? Three seconds. Yeah, go on, then. Go on, go on, go on, be pressed. <laughs> <laughs> the um, portcullis thing on the helmet. Oh, a portcullis is yeah. exactly what I wanted to hear. Yeah. And why is that? Some, Some coins are going up in denomination. Uh, they're pre-decimal coins. All oh, right, OK. The, right. Yes, the red was on the farthing, yeah. the, the golden hind on a halfpenny or a half penny, Britannia on the penny, so the portcullis would have been on... The threatening bit. The threatening bit, oh, exactly. Wow. Pre-decimal coins of increasing value, that's the image you would have seen on them. Well done. Back to you, draftsman. Uh, two reads, please. Two reads. What's the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next. It's not war breaking out, is it? First World War, Second World War. No, not the quarter days, is it? No, no the seventh of the seventh, seventh of the fifth. Seventh of the fifth, yeah, seven two five. Next. That's in March. What about six months of time? Yeah. Ten seconds. Four three seven nine two five. 
six, one, two, five. Three one, seconds. Seven, eight, nine, four, mm -hmm. three. Um, no time to chat. What's March. the answer? Third of March. Third of March is not the answer. No. So there's a bonus chance for the footballers. First of May. It's not the first of May. Yeah. Now, somebody evil went for a long lunch after they thought of this question. Oh. The second letter of May is A. Oh, the seventh letter of September <laughs> is B. Fourth oh, letter of March right. is C. So I wanted to hear... The first of December. First, first of December, December, the only month with a D in it, and its first letter is D. Horrible, isn't it? Yeah. In a brilliant sort of way. <laughs> no points there, then. Footballers, back to you for a choice. Uh, I have Horus, please. I have Horus. What's the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next. No. Next. Oh. What's that thing? Good bell to you, Cat. Um. Not names of four. Yeah, it's going to be names of what could be. Do we know what we're going to do? No, keep, keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next, then. <laughs> They're old names for the place like Luxembourg or. Yeah, I think that's it. Something going to be something like that. Oh, 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 Luxembourg. No, it's not. <laughs> it's always good for a go, though, isn't it, old Luxembourg? But that's not it. Draftsman, do you know? It's a German it's theory. Theory. Oh, We've tried Belgium. Yeah. Not Belgium either. No. What's your thinking? Well, we think it might be older names for the... in, in sort of chronological order. I, I, was, I think these are bits of Caesar's... Conquest, but ah, that's I wasn't being listened to. <laughs> more the sort of thing. Yes, they're provinces in the Roman Empire. We're going down the coast ah. of continental Europe, and next would be Aquitania. Oh, well, Aquitania. Well, anyway, so. well, but you knew it was a bit Roman. <laughs> yes. But most things in quizzes are either Luxembourg or a bit Roman, aren't they? Unless it's a sports question, and even then. No points there, then. And the lion question remains for the draftsman. What's the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Is it, so it's, it's, it's the robotics laws of Isaac Asimov. Is it? Yeah, so, so the we're third would be, the third. which is the uh, robot cannot, uh, must protect itself. It's, the first one is uh, protect itself. Do you want to well, carry on? Next, yeah, please. next, please. Just okay. Okay. Yeah. Protect, protect itself. Is um, that the third one? Ten seconds. <laughs> Uh, fourth, pro uh, third. third, protect itself. Well, That's absolutely it. You skipped over second, obey humans. Third, protect self. And why is that? Uh, I think they're Asimov's laws of robotics. That's exactly what they are. Trying to fool us into thinking robots and computers want to do anything other than protect themselves, take over the world and enslave <laughs> us all. The laws say that initially, protect humanity, human, obey humans, and then protect itself. Very well done. At the end of round two, the footballers have got six points. The draftsmen are ahead with 11. <laughs> Time now for some fiendish semi-final connecting walls. Draftsman, you have the dubious pleasure of going first. And you've got a choice, lion or water. We'll take the lion, please. OK, the lion wall. You've got two and a half minutes to solve it, starting now. Walkers of... Footballer. Paxman Snow. Paxman. Christy Walk is a quiz show host. Paxman's a quiz show host. Snow. Well, it's, it's news night, isn't it? Esla. Yeah. Esla? No, yeah, it's okay. too obvious that. Goose. Grey Lag Goose. Canada Goose. Canada. Goose. Snow Goose. If you hit them, see them if it's. Oh, mate, this is a news night presenter as well. Oh, it's sorry. Geese. Geese. So we've got the... Yeah. Right, got the geese. So we're going to go for Kirsty Walk. Yeah. yeah. Mateless. Gavin Esla. Esla. Maxman? No, we'll okay. try it. Maxman, that's too obvious, isn't it? John Tusa, Tusa, Tusa was, was a newsreader at one time. Right. John Tusa. Okay. Uh, pear, drop, pear drop, acid drop, chocolate drop. Cough drop. Cough drop. Yeah. Oh. Okay, yeah. okay so we, hang on. Three lives now, Three lives press with care. Time, uh, Suzu so. is a car. Ivico is, uh, is a truck. It's a truck Trucks. company. Two truck companies. Esla, Mateless, Walk. We don't want Paxman, we tried that. We're trying to... John Tusa. Walk, Mateless and Paxman. Yeah, but then do we know what the last no, one is? Well, well, the, the last one like this must be a truck because they wouldn't put it in there. I think it's in there as a... Okay. Yeah. So we try Avico, Paxman, Tusa and Isuzu. Yeah. Now. 
Right. Cummings. Cummings worries me because I don't recognise Cummings. Me too. Wait, wait, wait. You've got a minute left. Yeah, plenty of time. Sorry. Sorry. Um, well, Those two are definite, aren't they? There can't um, be anything else. What, so, so what, what could be a vehicle? If we have, we've well, had come into the vehicle. Like two, 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 not, two, it's not a... Could, must be, could, could be an acronym. So, so it's one of these two. One, we tried that one. Yeah. Could be walk, I suppose. We try walk? Well, we've got to go for it now. Two lives now and 30 seconds. We try coming to a main clip. One of them we had as the presenters. Do you want to take those out? Well, we haven't got time. We haven't got time. Okay, you're the boss. No, that's it. You've had your three lives. The wall has frozen. So, two points for the groups you've found. Can you tell me the connection in the blue group? Those are all types of geese. Types of geese. What about the next group? Cough, all... acid, chocolate pear? They can all proceed drop. Well, yeah. Drop. Yeah. Types of drop. Mm. OK, and you can still, of course, get points for the connections in the groups you didn't find. So let's resolve the wall. Tell me about <laughs> the pink group. Oh, we almost they're, did they're it on Newsnight. Presenters of Newsnight. They are past and present presenters of Newsnight. Kirsty Walk, Gavin Esler, John Tusser, Emily Maitlis. And the last one, the other blue group. They're truck, truck companies. Truck manufacturers. Or motor manufacturers. Commercial, commercial vehicles. Commercial vehicles. Commercial vehicles. Oh, there's a word I'd love to hear. Lorries. Uh, I assume they were... Um, Japanese, I'll give it to you, it's much of a muchness. They're engine brands, diesel engine brands, but truck companies, I suppose, is close enough. So, two points for the groups you found, and you did get all four connections. That's a total of six. Time to bring in their opponents now and give them the other fiendish semi-final connecting wall, which will have, of course, different clues on it. Footballers, in a chilling echo of my hotel minibar, there's nothing left but water. That's what you'll be getting. Two and a half minutes to solve this wall, starting... Now. Right. What have we got? Action. Day of reckoning, day of rest, day of action. Go for it. Yeah. Go for it. So, a tournament to Ian McKellen film. Yeah, right. So, it's Amsterdam. Okay, what else you got? I don't know the other two. Solar panel, pools panel. Oh, lovely. What else panel? Go on there, and report panel. I've never heard of a report panel. Yeah, well, no, no, there isn't one. Saturday. Saturday. Um. So, right, try some. Yeah. Can't cut to sounds filmy. Go on. No. We are not doing well here, are we? Don't worry. 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 Um, right, power. solar flare, no. Come on, what else we got? We must have another panel there. Rocket panel. Instrument panel. Arniston panel. What's an Arniston panel? <laughs> We're about halfway through the top. No, it doesn't exist. Instrument panel. Oh, yeah. Oh, close. <laughs> Actually, I do like instrument panel. I don't like thinking what black dogs could be. Anything word related? Uh... No. It's to do with depression. Black dogs. Yeah, a black dog is not, a depression, but it's not black like dogs. No. Well, no, no. Uh, I'm liking your panels, but... Yeah, it's just finding the others. Well, let's try hitting some. Like that, like that. No. <laughs> no. No, not going to be like that, is it? Um, come on, what's the that? Go Trying to McEwen. Yeah, keep going. You've got 30 seconds. Yeah. No. No. Well, how about a good black dog being here, McEwen? Maybe. It's a possibility, isn't it? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is not good at all. Not great. I'm not going to be. 10 seconds. Black dog and Aniston. No, I'm not going to be. No. Just a few seconds now. Yeah. Uh, that's it, I'm afraid you're out of time, but you found a group, and I'll give you another point if you can tell me the connection. Day of. Day of rest, day of reckoning, day of the dead, day of action. Very good. And more points available, so let's yeah. resolve the wall. See if you can tell me the connection in that green group. Ah, I've got to go for you. The uh, no. novels, no? 
Um, yeah, we'll I, I think you're nowhere near this, no, to be honest okay, with you. Are, no, these are East India men vessels. They are ships used by the East India Company. I think out of your comfort zone, the old, yes, uh, the yes, old yes. ships there. <laughs> yeah. What about this next one? Solar Saturday Black Dogs Atonement. Brother Ian McEwan, novels for that. You said you hoped that fiction and novels would not come up. Yes. They are indeed novels by Ian oh, McEwan. Well so you get that you. point. Well done. And what about this last one? Well, we Wolf, were right. They Wolf, were panels. Rocker <laughs> instrument. Yeah. They are oh. panels. Rocker panel, I think you were yeah. familiar with, part yeah. of a car. Mm. But you found one group and you got three more connections, so that's four points. Let's see how that leaves the scores. The footballers have got ten points. The draftsmen are ahead with 17. <laughs> Nevertheless, everything may be decided by round four. Missing vowels o'clock. Fingers on buzzers, teams. The first group are all... Fairies. Footballers. Aya Lanthi. Correct. Footballers. Oberon. Correct. Don't know this one. It's Spencer's Gloriana. Next clue. Footballers. Sugar Plum Fairy. Correct. Next category, subtitles of movie sequels. No, this is Bridget Jones's diary. The Edge of Reason. Next clue. No, it's a tough category. This one's Tomb Raider. The Cradle of Life. Next clue. Draftsman. On the rocks. Correct, from Arthur. Draftsman. The sequel. Yes, it's Airplane. Next category, Foods and their North American name. Footballers. Aubergine and eggplant. Correct. Footballers. Courgette and zucchini. Correct. Footballers. Coriander and cilantro. Correct. Draftsman. Biscuit and cake. I'm afraid you lose a point. Do you want to have a go, footballers? Biscuit and cookie. Yes, it is. Next category, lines from the Lord's Prayer. Footballers. But leaders, no. I'm afraid you lose a point, draftsman. Too long, but deliver us from evil. Next clue. Draftsman. Why will be done. Correct. Footballers. And leaders not into temptation. Correct. Footballers. Our Father who art in heaven. Correct. Next category, newspaper. <laughs> But we're not going to see the next category because that bell is the end of the quiz. Oh, my goodness. After a great round four, the footballers are up to 18 points, but the draftsmen with 19 <laughs> are the winners and through to the final. Very well done, draftsmen and footballers. What a series you've had. You'll be back, of course, for the third place playoffs. Yes. A very glorious position, but just one point away from the final. So we will be seeing all of you again, and I hope we'll see you again. Please join me next time for another episode of the quiz that's more diabolical than Moriarty. And he was the Napoleon of crime. Goodbye. Still to come here on BBC Four this evening, we get an unspoken history of the smallest room in the house in just a few moments' time. And then at ten, another new film from our Why Poverty season looks at the mega companies stealing Africa. Stay right where you are. Mm -hmm.